Right now on the FBI agents killed in Sunrise, funeral arrangements are being made for Special Agents Laura Schwarzenberger and Daniel Alfin, both remembered as heroes who battled crimes against children in South Florida. Police remain outside the Water Terrace apartment complex. Sky 10 flying over the active crime scene more than two days after a suspect opened fire, killing the two agents. And Local 10's Ian Margul has been covering the tragedy since it unfolded on Tuesday. And he's live at the scene with the latest developments. Ian. Day three of this investigation and from this vantage point, you can actually see the very back end of this crime scene. And right now there are FBI agents going around the corner. You can see the crime scene tape still up there right along the water here in Sunrise. And today, just a few minutes ago, I got a chance to speak with a former neighbor of the man at the center of this investigation. It sent red flags. April Evans used to live in this Sunrise apartment complex, just one floor above David Lee Huber, the man now at the center of a federal investigation after he gunned down two FBI agents and killed himself while those agents were trying to serve a search warrant at his home. Just being in his space 10 seconds or more, it was clear that there was some sort of disconnect. Evans says Huber was a loner, that he never spoke to any of his neighbors and that he would ignore them if they tried. And when she heard about what happened early Tuesday morning, she says she knew who it was before the name was ever confirmed. And I said, oh, my God. I said, that was that guy downstairs. From a distance, our cameras could see bullet holes all over the home. A glance into just how violent the encounter was. The two agents Huber killed have been identified as Special Agents Laura Schwarzenberger and Daniel Alfin. Both specialized in cyber crimes, specifically against children. And now, while agents continue to sweep the crime scene on Thursday, their former colleagues are getting ready to be laid to rest. Her work ethic, her encouragement, everyone wanted to be Laura's partner. She was that person. He was, in essence, a, um, a cyber expert, a borderline genius when it came to cyber matters. Just a tremendous loss all the way around. So we know that search warrant was part of a violent crimes against children case the FBI was working and that Huber was ready for them, watching them through his video doorbell before opening fire. We have tried to reach out to his ex-wife of 16 years, but at this point have been unable to get a hold of her. This investigation still very much in the early stages. As soon as we get any updates, of course, we will let you know.